Hey, what's up? This is Jamal Abbott. Thanks for tuning in. Here to talk to you today about free speech, the internet, and how the platforms all have a role in protecting and enforcing certain types of speech. This is a topic that has been interesting here recently as it's popped up with um, certain voices being silenced on the internet. This podcast is by no means going to get political at all, but I just want us to consider what it really means to have free speech on the internet and then how these platforms have a role in allowing that as well as enforcing their own terms of service. So that's the, the key word that we have to understand is terms of service. Each one of these platforms have their own terms of service. So for instance, if you are using a platform like Facebook, Instagram, uh, Amazon Web Services, or even the own internet connection that you're using right now to maybe listen to this podcast or to view this, there's terms and services that are associated with that service. If you use the service for, you know, non uh, violent means, if you're using it for um, appropriate measures, and those measures are, are deemed appropriate by the provider of that service, then you're not going to have any problems with using that to express your voice. The only issue is that when the content that's being produced either on the platform itself or your uh, the service that you're using to produce certain types of content or expressing certain forms of speech that could be in violation of that terms of service and it's just something that we have to keep in mind as we're thinking about uh, some of these big tech companies um, censoring certain voices and kicking them off of their platforms so terms of service are, are uh, definitely something that we don't pay attention enough to. So, you know, and I'm guilty of it too. If I sign up for a new app, there's going to be this long list of, uh, things that I said that I'm going to agree to. I scroll right ahead, look for agree. And then I just want to start using that service right away. And that's, that's the tricky part because we have to read that to understand how they're going to use, uh, our data, how we are supposed to behave on the platform and what determines how you're in violation of that terms of service. So you definitely have to look at that just to make sure that you're not on the wrong side of that and then end up in a situation where you could be kicked off the platform just because you didn't follow the terms of service. So you might be thinking to yourself, Jamal, well, you know, if you live in the United States, hey, this is a free country. I deserve to have my free speech and my first amendment right is going to be in jeopardy if I'm not allowed to share my voice and share my opinion on this platform. So the one thing that I remember being in the military is and this is something that I, I learned just along that journey is that, you know, yes, indeed, you do have freedom of speech and you do have the ability to express your views, but those views may not be uh, one agreed upon as well as protected when you're in certain environments. So with me being in the military, there wasn't a guarantee for my, my speech to be protected, um, mainly because that if I said something that went against the, the values and the, um, the contract that I signed with the military, I could be, um, in violation of that. And there's going to be consequences to that. The same thing applies to with these tech platforms. We sign up for the service. We agree to certain terms and conditions. And as long as we agree to those conditions and follow those conditions, there's, there's then there's no issue with you expressing your views and your thoughts and what whatever you want to express. With that being said, you don't have to use a social media platform. You know, these platforms make their money based upon users using the, the services. Um, some of them have an ad element to that. And the more ads you engage with or the more ads you're shown, the more that that platform uh, makes in, in terms of revenue. So you don't have to necessarily participate in that. You could create your own platform just like this podcast. This podcast is an example of that where I go out, I look for hosting, I pay for the service, and then I can talk about, you know, anything that I want, you know, 
in regards to tech and in, in regards to leadership and regards to me just sharing my thoughts. But as long as those thoughts don't come in violation of that term, the services that I signed up to on the hosting platform for the podcast, then, then it's all good. And you have a little bit more, I don't want to say leeway, but you have a little bit more um, arguments if you're being kicked off of a platform that you're paying for. With a lot of these social media platforms, you don't pay for them as a user. You sign up, you start using it, but in exchange for you to use ads, you're going to be served ads um, as, as a way for you to agree to the terms and services of that platform. So something to keep in mind there. The other thing that I want us to think about too is how certain speech is protected depending upon where you're at and the environment that you're in. So one, one example that I shared with my own family is that, you know, I have freedom of speech and I have protections under the first amendment um, here in the United States, but I can't go to somebody else's uh, residence and just, you know, say whatever I want to say. I mean, that's somebody else's private property and there's going to be certain uh, things that they believe in and certain things that they may not believe in. And I just can't bust into somebody else's place and then just start share my opinion if that's something that they agree with or not. The same thing with these tech platforms too. So we, we just really have to be careful. We have to understand the terms of services that we're agreeing to. And as long as we do that, then there should be no problem with you using anything like a Facebook or like a, like a Twitter or any other social media platform. It's only we, we get in trouble when we don't know what we're signing up for and then use it in a manner that's inconsistent with the policies that they've laid out. One last thing to say about these platforms in terms of service, you can certainly choose not to participate in some of these big social media platforms. And that's your, your very right. You can choose to use your own platform or create your own platform. But the, the trade-off with that is that if you're a content creator, it's going to be a little bit harder for you to get the engagement that you're seeking and, and wanting from the users who may want to consume your content, mainly because you're not on one of these uh, big social media platforms for your content to be discovered easily. So that's the one benefit of social media is that they have it to where users um, are hanging out in certain areas and they want you to engage with the content that is on that platform. So the longer that you stay there, the more engagement there is, and it's a win-win for the content creators. It's a win-win for the um, host of the, the platforms themselves and then for the users that want to engage with that type of content. But terms of services, terms and conditions, all those have to be considered before you jump on one of these platforms and decide to um, share your beliefs and share your views that not, may, may not be consistent with the terms and services of that. So something to keep in mind. Um, one thing I like to say too with this is that there's no right or wrong answer. Um, there's only the, the best thing for you. And if you feel like you know there's too much censorship going on with these platforms, you can certainly choose not to use it or maybe even come up with your own and then create that and then um, be in competition with uh, some of these larger establishments. So just my thoughts on the subject and uh, would love to hear your feedback. Um, am I off? Am I right? Do you agree or do you disagree? Uh, let me know. I would love to hear your thoughts and welcome your feedback. So this is Jamal Abbott. Thanks for tuning in. If you want to connect with me, you can find me on those platforms that we've been talking about. And that's at Jamal Abbott on most platforms. You can also text me, private platform, you can text me at 725-500-5132. Um, and that's a way that you can engage with me if you don't want to put that out in uh, public. So thank you again for uh, listening and tuning in. And I will talk to you soon.